Uh, so, as most of you, I would imagine, know at this point, unfortunately, Zoe Keating was unable, un unable to join us this year. She had a fever uh, just before the cruise, and in the interest of both her health and everyone's, uh, she was very bummed, but she was unable to join us. So we had this hole in the performance schedule, this hole right here that we are standing in. <laughs> and on in the uh, in the the lift ride from the airport to the hotel the night before the cruise, Amy Mann turned to Jonathan Colton because they were sharing a lift. And Jonathan had been explaining the situation that Zoe had to leave, and what Amy said was, "Well, you you know what we're going to do. We're going to write a musical." And over the course of that ride, Amy hectored Jonathan into it because despite the ridiculousness of that idea, Amy Man always has good ideas. <laughs> and so by, uh, by the end of Friday night, we wrote a musical about Joko Cruz. <laughs> so thank, thank you to Amy for having uh, annoyingly difficult good ideas. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, hastily but lovingly assembled and hurriedly rehearsed this afternoon. Please welcome... Uh, the, well, what we're going to do is when, once I announce this and go off stage, if we could turn the stage lights off and bring them back up for a proper sense of theater. I don't know if, uh, if any of you have been watching the news, uh, Broadway theaters have closed for the next month. So this is the closest thing you are all going to get to Broadway. Not necessarily a compliment, but it is what it is. Uh, so please welcome for the second and final performance ever, right here on the New Amsterdam stage. Oh no, Joko's sick. It's a disaster. Jonathan is sick. He can't even stand up. He's totally out. Jonathan Colton Jonathan? You know any other Jonathans? There's usually three or four of them performing on this cruise. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened? Well, you know Jonathan, he's always touching his face and making other people touch his face. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't remind me. Well, now he's sick. And I can't find Paul and Storm anywhere, and the show starts in two minutes. The sea monkeys can't find out that Colton's sick, it'll cause a nerd riot. <laughs> That's the worst kind of riot there is. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait, John Roderick, get, get over here. and pretend to be him. Holy? Sick? Stage? Pretend? Me? <laughs> You're perfect. You're a middle-aged white guy, you've got a beard, and you play a guitar, sorta. Just... <laughs> you just like, roll your sleeves up, and no one will, will ever know, this, know the difference. But I can't be Jonathan, no one would ever buy it. Sure they will. You've been on tour with him, you've stayed at his house, you've recorded poorly selling Christmas albums together. <laughs> you know his whole shit, just sing some stuff about robots and science and zombies and make sure you apologize a lot. <laughs> Please, John, you're the only one who can save this cruise. Well, I guess I can give it a shot. Hi, everybody. 
everybody. It's definitely me, Jonathan Colton. I'm going to sing some of my Jonathan Colton songs. Ha <laughs> ha! Because that's what Jonathan Colton does. Sorry! Uh, this first song is called uh, uh, Bleep Bloop. songs you wrote.
sentences when he's reading from a script. <laughs> anyway, I was magically summoned by the sound of barely solicited advice. <laughs> well, you could use your help, John. Everyone could, John. I understand you're having trouble doing a quality Colton. Uh, now, how could you know any of this? My little spiders are everywhere, John. <laughs> Let me tell you what your problem is. Because I'm probably going to anyway at that time. <laughs> the problem is that you're approaching this thing the wrong way, John. You can't seek the true Jonathan Colton externally with your hair suit, sidekicks, and monkey robot japery. You have to get to what's inside Colton. You must find his essence. Way, way down, underneath the hair, and the tinted glasses, and the cryptic t-shirts, down at his core, Jonathan Colton is sad. <laughs> A supremely sad, sad, sad man. You must lock onto this sadness, John Roderick. But I'm John Roderick. Everyone knows I'm incapable of being sad. <laughs> I'm delightful and filled with cheery bon me. That is very true, John Roderick. Therefore, you must learn from the one who taught me. You must seek out the master of sadness. You must seek the Amy Man. <laughs> It is she that shall instruct you in the ways of true sadness. I will. I will find the Amy man. Thank you, John Hodgman. You are most welcome, John Roderick. But now I must away and tend to my eccentric facial hair garden. <laughs> Excelsior! Amy man, Amy man, come here, I need you. <laughs> the real Amy was here like four minutes ago. Uh, she got sick. Everyone was touching Jonathan's face. Just roll with it. Yeah, sure. I, I come to you to find the essence of coldness. I, I seek to walk the path of true sadness. Think well upon your request, my son. Are you fully prepared for the consequences of your choice? Is it a difficult and perilous path you seek? Uh, really? No, no. No, it's cake. Anyone can do it. <laughs> it's like Mad Libs. 
Let me get some help out here to demonstrate. Uh, Jean Grey, come here a sec, please. <laughs> <laughs> Reality is broken anymore. Just roll with it, man. Don't try to make sense of it. You'll just get a headache. Yeah, both of you. Hush, hush. Keep it down now. Grammy, <laughs> give me a sad mid-tempo bed, a kind of major minor deal. Silence also mm, is it's sad. very sad. It's the saddest of all silences. Yeah. 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 Cool. That's the magnolias. <laughs> okay. Uh, first off, you pick a protagonist. It's gotta be a guy. Any guy. Any random name. Just any guy in here, really. Could be John. Could be Ron. Tom. Don. My name is Ron. Okay, now I'll make him an animal. I'm a sad giraffe. Okay, um, explain why he hates himself. My neck's too long. I work in a real sweaty run. And it hurts to laugh. Now, hit the emotions hard with a lofty metaphor. I'll never reconcile my head. Now, immediately undermine it with a dumb science fact. Because my neck keeps them so far apart. Okay, now wrap it up with a mundane phrase that really seems profound, but actually, it's just kind of dumb. Who's when a guy's hands in the trees, he's got a view, but all he sees is everything we It's just uh, another verse, chorus, a wandering bridge that ends on the floor, another half chorus, and out. <laughs> well, that really is easy. Thank you, Amy, man. I, I guess you really helped me to wise up. I see what you're saying. And on uh, behalf of both uh, Amy, man, and myself, fuck you! Excelsior! <laughs> I understand it now. All the pieces are in place. I, I think I'm truly ready. I'm ready to go out and really be Jonathan Colton for you, that audience that has been waiting patiently for me to come back from backstage where I went earlier on in the script. Well, here we go. For the cruise. It's me, Jonathan Colton. I'm here. <laughs> no, no, I'm Jonathan Colton. Oh, that's very sweet of you, but you're not fooling anybody, pal. <laughs> but we went on that whole quest and everything. Jonathan, you were so sick. You were near comatose. Yeah, I, st I still am sick. I mean, that, that Jonathan is sick. I'm a clone of me, and I'm, I'm fine. A clone? That's the correct <laughs> one. Back right that up. one up. Let, let, a clone. Let that one go again. A clone? <laughs> That's right, Molly. We got dozens of me in storage tanks. I haven't actually been on board a Joko cruise since 2014. <laughs> and honestly, even then, I was kind of phoning it in in those last few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that scans. Yeah, I was on those cruises. Yeah. So it was very nice of all of you to try to cover for me. I mean, you know, the other me. But you sort of missed the mark. Uh, and if you want to understand Jonathan Colton, you got to understand the Joko Cruise. And there's one thing about Joko Cruise that you got to understand. Mm -hmm. 
Joko Cruz is friendship and fun and games and more. And robots mixed with monkeys with sadness at its core. It's a spirit that you carry in your heart. But don't forget the most important part. It's all about me, because without me, it wouldn't be the same. Despite what you bring, I'm the main thing. It's right there in the name. J-O-C. <laughs> that spells Joko Crew. It's all about me. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy Jump Up Group. Thank you.